I'm John Mitchell. I'm the composer on the Oklahoma Tourism uh, spot, and uh, we kind of had an interesting process with this one. We had to start with a reference music track that we took out on set uh, to have the different talents sing with and play with. We're here recording it and, and getting a great take of what the song can be in a, in a both sticking with the, the classical understanding of the Broadway uh, melody, but giving it some new life. Here at Alabaster Caverns in Northwest Oklahoma, we have the only uh, gyp cave that's a show cave in the United States. We also have black alabaster here. It's very rare. It's only found in three caves in the world. We thought it'd be great to have uh, somebody say the land we belong to is grand whenever they're underneath the land and, and showing the beauty of this cavern and everything. So that's one of the big reasons we chose this particular location, not, not to mention that it's beautiful. So We have two red Epic cameras that we'll be shooting on Zeiss Super Speed lenses, uh, shooting 5K full frame, just st standard 24. So we're going to be doing some, some playback and recording at the same time. It's going to be a uh, kind of an interesting deal. Uh, in like a music video situation, you just play back and they lip sync. But in the situation, we're playing back and recording them singing it live. So it should be quite, quite fun, quite a good time. And we say, yeah! I can get another light over in that area to backlight. And the land we belong to is grand statement about this spot, okay? Stand by, moment for adjustment. Roll. Let's just keep each other one arm length apart. All right. It's beautiful down there. Yes. It's beautiful and it's got a lot of really great naturals to climb. This is the uh, the West and, and what it really looks like and what it means whenever you think of that, that Western heritage and culture. And uh, so this is just a great place to shoot that with these uh, these mountains behind us. It's a beautiful country up here. I love the little, the little short mountains that they have. Go back to art school, dude. Is this get up feeling good to you guys? Well, basically, we're going to set the jib out here, and what we'll have is we have the jib here, and at the uh, outer point of the arm, we're going to have arms swinging, and the riders will stay with the uh, arc of the jib, um, so that basically we're creating the feeling that we are right in front of the riders the whole time. And we're going to run a couple different sets, some with both of them, some with just one at a time. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to run a really long lens over here and snipe some really cool little inserts. And out in the sky, if you tilt your head and you got a polarizer on, it really darkens the background. And we're going to compress them into this nice red. And it's kind of why we've got that cool red scarf and a nice controlled color palette. It'll be pretty cool. We're getting ready to head out today in Oklahoma City to location scout um, for the next four days. We'll be in and around Oklahoma City. He, he has a great shot with you. Let's see the edges over there. My honey lamb. She yeah, says, and it's I all good. Right. Boom. The counter, there. just a teeny bit of a counter. Just lower it yeah. while we tilt up. Anything in this range and, and them saying I O E P I A or to jump out, and then those people to follow. Come across here. I can just do this tilt. Think you're almost certainly gonna. So you're not tilting all the way down. I'll clump together in the middle because that was where the crater was. Love to. So here we 
our pops. We scouted uh, this and three other locations. Yes, four other locations yesterday. Um, we know exactly where we're going to shoot. We've got two fun lanes. This is one of them. We'll have a girl skipping through frame with one of these. She'll come on through frame. And the line that we're aiming for here at Pops is can sure smell sweet for obvious reasons. And um, then, uh, so once we're done with this cute little girl, she's, I can tell that she'll be very easy to work with and a lot of fun. We'll hop outside. And so right now we're just getting the Thunderbird camera ready. God, you have a wide We've got a fun jib shot. It's kind of a James Dean era uh, convertible. It's pulling into Pops and with the way that'll work, we obviously don't want to over-feature any one institution over the other. Then we'll be doing a uh, just a cool little mirror scene across the street where um, a man is polishing his car and it seems as though he cares about his car a little bit more than perhaps his wife. And we're going to try and sell that in a funny way and not a malicious way. 69 Camaro, that was my first old car I got. And uh, just been working on it for you know, a few years. And, you know, Really proud of her today. Yeah, that's just that's just straight up and down. What is this? Day three, and we are now shooting the uh, plenty of room to swing a rope. And just like all the other scenes, we're trying to juxtapose the uh, the tradition of the song with the modern day elements. And so, we what better way to do that with uh, OKC, uh, the Rot Town? I've never been up. so prepared in all my life. So when he falls, he just kind of stays where he is. Actually, the swing of the rope instead of the traditional lariat is going to be um, a rock climber rappelling down the side of this building. And you're going to see that rope, and it's, there's going to be plenty of room. It should be a great shot. It's my pleasure to welcome you here to the History Center in Oklahoma City. This is the center of the Oklahoma Historical Society, which has locations all over the state. The History Center has served over a million and a half people in the roughly seven years that we've been open. Throughout the galleries, you're going to find the personal stories of regular people, of everyday Oklahomans, and the people that make history come alive. Uh, we've got a little boy who's going to throw an airplane up at the airplane in the rotunda at the Oklahoma History Center. So we're going to see him alluding to watching a hawk, but he's really watching an airplane. If he's over the wings, stand just to... Oklahoma! Oklahoma! Please jump again. Oklahoma! Oklahoma! Nice. Good. Oklahoma is so awesome. I like the basketball team, thunder, and this most of the fun. In between action and cut, we just have fun. Okay. Like I'll show you is exactly. And just keep scanning across. Action. My honey, living on. I'm sweeping down the floor. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are at the Oklahoma City Memorial Park and uh, we'll be running three different scenes. The first one is near the chalk. It's with the, the chalk section over near the museum and that's kind of just a fun Easter egg and we've got a fun overhead shot of the girls and they're, they're drawing some things out because we're looking for texturally different ways to present uh, you know, some of our, our themes and ideas. And then we'll be moving over to the memorial and the memorial was interesting because um, it's, it's an area that we need to maintain both levity and respect for. And I'm not from Oklahoma City, but you know I remember vividly when um, the incident took place here. And, and coming into this, what was, what's kind of nice is I have a fresh perspective on it and I can ask a lot of questions, which is, at the end of the day, what happens with, with tourism. Um, and in asking all that and looking for a combination of levity and respect, I feel that we found an angle that in doing research that I haven't seen done before and I'm, I'm very excited to, to present it to the audiences. Um, it makes it feel like the memorial kind of goes on forever. Um, and uh, we've got a very nice setup for it with a mother and a daughter that will be walking towards camera and delivering the line with plenty of heart and plenty of hope. And um, the, the mother and the daughter are an actual mother and daughter and that was important because I think we wanted to keep pretty 
organic tone. Oklahoma's uh, wine business is just booming. We have around 600 acres of vineyards growing in Oklahoma. There's over 65 wineries. And here at Stable Ridge, we're one of the oldest and one of the biggest wineries in the state of Oklahoma. Our tasting room next door is just uh, really unique and nice. It's the original Catholic church building here in Stroud, 1898. Walls, windows, and ceilings are original in the building. It's just a lovely, unique place to come and shop and taste wine. What we're gonna have our talent doing is is wine stomping. Camera's gonna be roughly here, or a little bit up on this hill here. Shooting wine. back here, okay. and this is them. So you guys are the camera, uh -huh. and I'm gonna be the three wine stompers right here in the, in the center here. What we're getting ready to do is, uh, We've got the wine uh, stomping going on. It, it's overcast, what we're gonna do, we're gonna simulate uh, a sunny day. So we've got a nine light here, 9,000 watts of tungsten, uh, another 9,000 watt tungsten nine light over there. So it's gonna be real heavy gold backlight coming in this way. Uh, the gaffer's gonna put some uh, Mopars over in this area just to continue the wrap. And it's gonna turn this uh, overcast into a bright sunny day. Through our research, we found out that, I mean, most of it happens in a machine these days, but whenever the, the grapes are too small to go through the machine and then they still do that traditional wine stomping. And I know a lot of wineries around here, uh, you know, do that as a, as a tourist thing and having a, an event and, uh, and let people stomp wine like the old days. Another day of shooting, and uh, today we're at the uh, Lake Murray uh, State Park Golf Course. Um, you know, we have a great uh, tradition of golf in Oklahoma. We've had uh, PGA championships here, so we felt like we had to have golfing in the, uh, in the commercial. Making lazy circles in the sky. Just make eye contact, look around, mind exactly like you guys are doing. Like, like yeah, the... have fun. Can he land and I sit alone and talk and watch a hawk? M A Oklahoma. We just finished up the scene in time to uh, miss the rain. I expect it'll hit about the time we get in the car. Nobody. We're here at Lake Murray. Um, we were golfing this morning and now we're fishing this evening. Um, two of Oklahoma's favorite pastimes and with more shoreline than the east and west coast combined, we had to show lakes and we had to show fishing. So uh, there's not a more iconic place in the state, uh, you know, lake-wise and fishing-wise than this tower that's behind me. And I think we're going to get a um, an O, like a real uh, ec ecstatic O because they've just caught a fish, which is going to lead into the Oklahoma. It's more of a, oh, I got a fish, Oklahoma. Oh! We just had these guys do the YMCA letters and we couldn't, we couldn't keep a straight face. Nobody could, so anxious to see it in the edit. O-K-L-A-H-M-A, Oklahoma. <laughs> The Chickasaws Souls do what we call stomp dance, social dance, uh, as well as all other five civilized tribes. Uh, we all do the same stomp dance and uh, social dancing. It's a time for the uh, Indian people to come together. I'm going to back up and project even further to me. A little bit breezy up here. So here we are up at Mount Scott, which I've never been to, and I think one of the first things that surprised me was when they said we're headed to a mountain in Oklahoma, you know, and uh, 
I didn't know what to make of that, but it's, it's beautiful up here. And doing it justice is not going to be very hard. It's just waiting for the right time and choosing the right lenses. So it'll be a, a really fun scene to do. And I mean, to take it a step further, it kind of has uh, enlightened me on some of the filmmaking opportunities in Oklahoma. Um, you know, I'm impressed with the tax incentives here, but doing something like Oklahoma tourism has made me want to bring feature work here because I feel like you can use the geography and the, the crew that has just been, they're so nice. They're so nice and they're so good at what they do and you can have crews that are this professional in Los Angeles, they're great, but they're, they're rarely this nice. So it's been cool and Mount Scott is our halfway point in the shoot, maybe a plus a day and uh, I don't know, morale's high, I'm excited. Let's start here and we're going to work our way down. First, second, third. Coming up around this bed. Then planes. Biking in Oklahoma, I love it because you just go to any different terrain you want to go to. You can go to mountains, you can go to flatland, you can just go anywhere. Lakes, I love biking in Oklahoma. Say you're doing fine, Oklahoma. See you later, boys. So we're about to take the um, the B camera or the A camera down to this water here to get this um, scene of a fly fisherman, um, and we like the composition from the middle of the, the river. So we're going to get a nice shot from inside there. So uh, we discovered that our talent didn't know how to actually fly cast and I'm the audio second and I do fly fish and in fact I fly fish down here in uh, the mountain fork of the Little River it's one of our few trout fisheries we have here on the eastern part of the state where it's a little more mountainous I'll have to do this. It'll look like this. I've got it. Well, while out, whilst out shooting today, uh, Broken Bow here decided to release all of its water, which from my understanding is not even an annual thing. Um, we had major like horns coming into play and we're like, well, we got to get it done. Long story short, the water starts to rise and John looks over and he's like, is it just me or is the, uh, the water coming up? We look down and we're no longer on an island. And um, yeah, in the last few minutes, the water went from us being on a rock and about six inches above ground to just above the calves. But we got the shot. Last take was my very favorite, and so it all worked out. So this morning we're going to be shooting um, some people horseback riding along the river. And so we're going to shoot two cameras. We're going to have a, one camera on sticks on a 50 millimeter, getting a little bit of a wider shot. And then we're going to have the second camera on a 70 to 200, a longer lens shot, sort of compressing the background. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's about it. Remind me of the line that the uh, other guy had said. You're doing fine. I'm John Manning. I'm with Riverman Trail Rides. I brought the horses out today for the, for the shoot. And uh, uh, horse riding in Oklahoma is fantastic. We got some great country, some pretty scenery. It's, it's wonderful. You know what your move is?
Getting in a good sunset here at Beavers Bend State Park. You know, capping off the end of a, of a 10 day shoot so far, two more days to go. And uh, I think we're staged for a good camping scene with our lovely talent. I think you got things pretty much in order. It's a cool scene. We've had uh, in the last few days a lot of, uh, we haven't had as, as long of trucks across the state. And the ones that we have had have allowed us to really build a scene out with as much time as you know you can hope for as much as you can hope for and this one's one of those so we've built a really nice arrangement between our talent foreground campfire midground and then the tent and the, the distance to try and um, kind of hit some symbolism and some lines and it should be a fun scene Oklahoma every night my honey lemon night We have the ability to bring in, uh, we have three uh, eight villagers that are, that can be dressed in period of the, what, what period is it, 17, uh -huh. 17 18th yeah. century, yeah. yeah. So they are, can be provided as a backdrop. So why don't we go take a look at the options right. that we got out there. We got some fires going, we can get more fires going. Again, depends, or, depends on how you guys want to shoot it. More than likely you guys will just be going about an action and then we'll have these two in the foreground, uh, running that a couple different ways. Yeah, it was due to relocation back when I could. They don't know anything about it. And, and the land, land we belong to is grand. We know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. Osio Tohija. This means hello, how's everybody in the Cherokee language? Welcome to the Cherokee Heritage Center's ancient village. This is a recreated 18th century village that we're filming at. Uh, trade clothing, 1710 to 1761 was the years where most of the trading was going on with the Cherokees, European contact, trade items like the gorgets, the uh, armbands, the trade shirts that I'm wearing and many of the villagers here are representing this living history village here at the Cherokee Heritage Center in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. It's important for us to just... So it's on ultra-wide 1080 right now. Go, ready, set, go! Where? <laughs> All right, my name is Jack Miller and uh, I'm from Oklahoma. I've been skydiving here for 12 years. I started in Oklahoma, Oklahoma Skydiving Center. I have 3,400 jumps as of today. And it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. I started when I was 37. It's never too late. Hey, I get to you. Hey! Go. There we go. We can slow the count. We're about to do some aerial footage. We're going to do some skydiving. And I'm lucky enough to be one of the talent uh, since our other male talent didn't show up. So very excited to jump out of the plane and uh, be lucky enough to have it all on Red Epic with super speeds and looking beautiful for Oklahoma tourism. Oklahoma's okay. We're going to be filming the, the uh, chefs as they throw pizza dough up in the air. And uh, this afternoon we'll do a little ballet and it's never a, uh, it never stops. So we're at Joe Mama's Pizza and uh, doing some uh, gourmet Italian, if you will, pizzas and pastas. So we, uh, we thought a good play on the word waving wheat would be, you know, either throwing the pizza dough in the air or the, uh, the making of the pasta, waving as it comes off the uh, pasta machine. And, you know, again, we're just showing the diversity of Oklahoma and our fine dining, and we just have a little bit of something for everybody. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind comes.
I'm sweeping down the plane. We're here at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center, Tulsa's home to the arts. We have 14 different re resident arts groups that use the PAC. More than a quarter of a million people come here. We have Tulsa Opera, Tulsa Ballet, Tulsa Symphony, Tulsa Town Hall, a myriad of fine theater here. We're at the uh, Tulsa PAC, or the PAC as I've heard it called today, and um, Shad, um, who's one of, he's one of the members of camera team, helped facilitate what, what was a pretty complex move. We built our version of a uh, techno crane, and we were able to shove out over the stage, and it was really, really cool what we created. We had professional dancers, and we orchestrated with the, uh, the union guys here at the uh, at PAC to create um, really four different scenes, and it was nice because it helped round out, it rounded out our piece because we needed some uh, metro metropolitan um, arts sort of flavor, and I'm so glad that we ended up coming here. So it'll be a really cool one to see. the last day of our 12-day you know run through Oklahoma um, can't think of a, of a better morning and a better thing to do on our last day than to listen to the quartet who played us some great music It ended up being a beautiful morning. The sun just peeked over the clouds and, and really gave us great light. Argentina, Moldova, Moldova. Romania, Kansas. <laughs> you guys were fantastic. You never know what you're going to get with um, musicians. They can land anywhere in between, you know. From the top to the bottom, but they had really good screen presence. They were able to hit their their stuff right away, and in between, they were playing other sets and songs. They were great. They were really fun to work with, and we had a great location. Welcome to the Oklahoma Aquarium. This is one of the top destinations in all of Oklahoma, and you might be surprised at just how large of an aquarium it is in the middle of the country. We have the largest bull sharks in captivity. We also have a lot of interactive experiences where kids can roll up their sleeves, put their hands in a tank, and touch a stingray, or even a small shark, so they really get up close with the wildlife that you can find in our oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Movies and commercials are about make-believe, and so we're going to make it look like you guys are in the water today. Of course we do. We thought we might happen upon some natural rain, but we uh, never did. But you know, our fearless art department always had it in the bag. They've got a rain machine, and we are we're doing right behind the rain from the song. And we're going to have some rain right here at the uh, Jinx Aquarium. It's going to be raining on the iconic alligator uh, statue, and there's going to be kids playing and splashing and having fun. So, should be good. We are shooting in the uh, the shark area right now and uh, we're about to get this uh, shot of uh, the little boy looking in to the shark tank with his grandmother. One rule is do not look into the camera please. Sit alone and talk and watch your heart. Make a crazy circle to the sky. You know 
we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is red. Oklahoma, come see for yourself.